Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And guys, today I know it's weird. I'm on the right side, but we got some stuff to talk about on uh, Dissidia. Basically, they had their uh, live stream event yesterday, so let's go over everything that they were talking about. So on October 10th, already that's really fast. Act Two, Chapter Five, Will of the Hunters. I know it's so weird to be on the right side. But it doesn't matter. So, new story and Crystal Awakening batch number 3. Story draw with first multi draw free raid event and event draw with first multi draw free. That's gonna be really, really cool because who doesn't like a free multi draw, right? Everybody loves this. Your boy Toasty loves it. Uh, then, Treasure Hunting October 10th to October 28th. Uh, the last chapter, the event for Lock is gonna be coming out. Quest up to level 1 uh, to level 50 only. Hmm. All right, then. Big change, the World of Illusions, Radiant Artifacts revamp. So basically, the World of Illusions, they were explaining that uh, at the bottom, when you go all the way, when you scroll all the way down, there's basically the black, yellow, and uh, green crystal. Then there's the red, blue, and uh, green crystals, right? So they're going to remove all of that, and uh, basically they're going to be changing it with uh, stuff like that. Right here, we're going to talk about it. So Radiant Artifacts token exchange for your desired characters, Idojas and uh, Idoga and Idojas artifacts can be obtained from new World of Illusions Radiant Artifact token. So basically, you're going to be farming these tokens and then you're going to be ch exchanging these tokens for the Idojas that you want for the character that you want, which is going to be really, really cool. And uh, they said not to be worried because you're going to be able to get the gems from specific quests that you're going to be doing and challenges. So one time login bonus. You get a thousand of each, which is crazy insane. Then, New World of Illusions Radiant Artifact Tokens replaces current permanent World of Illusions Radiant Artifacts split by colors and limited time treasure hunts, character events, lost chapter, etc. So whenever there's a character that comes out, uh, basically we have Selfie right now, where in the World of Illusions, uh, there's a little thing that appears for her for like 15 days that you can farm there. Well, that's going to be taken out, but like they said, you're still going to be able to get the gems from a different uh, from different challenges and uh, quests. So that's going to be really cool. Only drops artifact tokens and character events, lost chapter, etc. to featured limited time missions cleared by exchanging for featured character artifacts. So basically that's what they're saying. That's the way you're going to be able to get those free gems and stuff like that. Enhancement, en enhancement guild cost reduced to cupo. So that's really, really good. Because uh, sometimes you don't see it, but uh, your gill can go down really, really fast. Then, Abyss B Stratum 10 on September 25th. So basically, uh, we're just a couple of days away. So one day, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow after maintenance. So basically, that's going to be up. New map and quest layout. Previous two strata, then one bus stratum. A new one main stratum with two sub strata. Adjusted quest distribution. Mission conditions for uh, more uniform across a stratum. And limited time missions, power token, rewards shifted to Cosmos Quest. First clear reward. Wham! Then, Final Fantasy 15 Again, Prompto. Noctis, you won't be alone again, my boy. So, event on September 26th. So, that's going to be starting on Thursday. That's good. Thursday or Friday. I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's just going to be at... For me, it's going to be at 10 p.m. one of those days. So... Uh, Prompto event on the road includes limited time mission for obtaining radiant radiant artifacts token selfie is going to be a featured unit limited time gem costume bundle i gotta say Prompto looks amazing and uh he was probably one of uh i love final Fan final fantasy for me uh, 15 for me is a really really good ga uh, good game cool game and i love using Prompto with his guns so uh yeah i think i'm gonna have to summon for this guy like any other character am i right uh, so, uh, so this boy, Prompto, pretty boy, is coming out real soon. Then the World of Illus Illusions, Ultimate Ramu. I need to calm down. That that got me too excited. So, event, Ultimate Ramu. Ramu summon board and level 30 unlock. Like always, guys, you'll be able to get over 30,000 gems, 300 draw tickets, and 500 armor tokens. So, guys, the cool thing is, the more characters are coming out, the more you're able to farm and what i'm doing right now i'm farming a lot of the new characters for ifrit and shiva so uh, that's really cool and uh, the level cap is going to be raised for these characters if i'm not, uh, not not the level cap sorry not the level cap the featured characters maria onion knight my boy uh lena which is really really good setzer will which will be getting his ex weapon should i say sid and aiko thank you aiko 
Can't wait for her to get a Rex weapon also. Triple effect support item sales until October 10. Kupo, let's go! So from September 30th to October 14th. Uh, good luck, guys, because I know some of you guys will be farming like crazy. And best of luck. Drink a lot of coffee. Anything you need. Stay away from energy drinks. They're not good. But uh, caffeine, just go all out on that. Then Gilgamesh Lost Chapter plus Alfino Event. Uh, this is going to start October 3rd. So Gilgamesh featured in Alfino's quest. It just as Link Valley Rewards. Boosted stats, which is great. Then the event Walk This Way. Featuring Aerosmith and Run DMC. No, I'm kidding. No, no, none of that. So Walk This Way, October 7th to October 21st. Oh, nice. Uh, dates in uh, UTC. Content some jets to change. So always take note that guys, things might change by a day or whatever. Because they choose whenever they do things. But that's really, really cool. Uh, I gotta say, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Then Realms LC, Lost Chapter. Uh, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, she's gonna be able to go to level se uh, 70 if I'm not mistaken yeah with the lost chapter another character level 70 and uh, one of my really cool boy that I was really surprised when he first came out Leon and uh, I can't wait to see this guy at level 70 October 29th then October 21st to November 4th there's a new character right here I know some of you guys already know what it is and I don't and I want to keep that surprise for me but that's really really cool so we're getting more stuff and the FF portal app Point campaign with Dissidia. Earn points in the Final Fantasy Portal app to get rewards in Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. So if you guys are playing this game, we're going to be getting more stuff in Dissidia. So that's October 1st to October 31st. Then we get the Autumn Festival, October 10th to October 24th and October 24th to November 7th. Festive gem sales. I can't wait to see the sales because sometimes they're really, really good. And uh, you know what? Sometimes they're worth it. Why not? If we're playing this game every single day, that's not bad at all. Then we got the event Trick or Treat. All characters are boosted, which is perfect. Earn gold artifacts tokens as Link Bell rewards. And final wave might be a trick or a treat. So that's really, really cool. New animated stickers and returning stickers from 2018, which is really, really nice. Then that's something that I really, really love for newer players. So people can join in. That's a good game, guys. Just join in. If you're not playing the city, uh, this is going to be your start. So October 10th, start dash campaign. First multi draw is free. Existing players available for seven days after login on uh, October 10th. New players available for seven days after clearing clearing the short uh, player mission reward. Equip an ally with a weapon. So that's really, really easy to do. No off five star weapon banner. So no off banner five star weapon. That's really, really good. Limited time EX power token exchange from October 10th to November 7th. Clear limited time event missions for XP power tokens. Then exchange for a featured EX weapon of your choice. Woo! It's coming, guys. It's coming. Then limited time campaign daily mission for crystal and power orbs. Cycle crest rewards times two, which is amazing. That's one of my favorite things they put in the game. And World of Illusions Karn Bunkle. Karn Bunkle's treasure. Whoa, man! What am I the most? What am I most excited about? Well, let me uh, go right here and uh, look at this pretty boy right here. So Pronto, I can't wait. I I seriously love this guy. He's really cool. He's funny, and uh, you know what? He's Final Fantasy 15. Noctis needs some love because he's all by himself right now in the world of the city. But that's gonna be really really cool. So guys. Let me know down below in the comment section what are you most excited about. I know a lot of you guys is going to be right here because uh, a lot of you guys love Setzer. And this guy will be getting his EX weapon. So that's a new thing to do. We're going to be busy, guys. The month of October is going to be busy. Dissidia, thank you so much for putting out a wonderful game like that one. And uh, guys, let me know down below what are you most excited about again. Please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.